changing the palette and demographic of wine connoisseurs. The annual event will take from township to township with prospects of growing it nationally. The belief is that this initiative will educate people at grassroots level and as well as create an opportunity for transfer of skills and growth in the wine industry. Joining me now in studio to talk more about the event, I'm joined uh, from the uh, wine experience by uh, Musa Sisiyani. Uh, Musa, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Sam. Let's talk about an, this, this radical idea of taking a wine experience to people at grassroots level so they and growing, growing the industry, growing the appreciation of wine. Okay, the idea came about uh, the inspiration obviously flowed from the Soweto wine experience. Then we thought that... Uh, it's befitting for us to take the experiences to other townships around. And Twane being an untapped market, uh, as we were working with the wineries, they saw a vast opportunity for them to go and showcase their wine and bring it closer to the people at grassroots levels. This idea of wine festivals is not a, not a new idea, but has there been, as part of the idea and probably a part of your research, was there serious interest from townships to to engage at this level? I mean, we've seen the success of the Soweto Wine Festival, mm. but, you know, that is a very unique uh, case and maybe a very unique experience for South Africa. Yes, the, we, there is a need for it. Uh, the most important thing that we saw as a gap was the fact that uh, a lot of people are not informed, a lot of people are not educated about uh, their choices in terms of the wines. Uh, mm. You don't know which wine to take with what meal. So our, our, our concept is totally different. It's pairing. Because it's going to be more of pairing. Yeah. The wineries will be there and we'll be able to educate each and every one. The patrons will be there about the pairing of the wines with the correct uh, cuisine. And yes. this idea of, tra of traveling from township to township, that makes we it a very bring, unique experience, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, we, we, we just want to bring it closer. We just bring, bring it closer to the people. Because wine has always been, you know, uh, associated with a certain group and class yeah. of people. So we want to just, you know, remove that perception, do away with it completely and bring it closer and make people more comfortable to choose various wines mm. and, and make it a more informed Decision making. And that actually leads to my next question because there is this preconceived, very stereotypical idea of what a, a wine aficionado is or somebody who's interested in wine. This festival completely turns it on its head. Exactly, it does. It, 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 it speaks to every ordinary person on the street. So okay. let's talk about the brands you've engaged, the kind yes. of what has the reaction been from the industry? Oh, it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, a lot of uh, our partnership, uh, you know, we are very grateful for them. There's a lot of response we've gotten from uh, your uh, partnership from Cape Legends, mm. wineries from French Hook. We've got your KWVs coming on board and people who seriously saw the need also to, to come and get exposure into mm. this market that we're creating for them. Now, talk to me about the actual wine festival. What are we going to experience on the day for anybody who's attending? Okay, first of all, it will be your usual wine sampling. And uh, we'll have guest performances there. We have two DJ lineups. And we obviously want to be using the people within Mamelodi. That's where the event will be held. Yeah. So we'll have a lo two local DJs. We'll have uh, Junior Torres and Lady Zama performing at the event. And we'll just have uh, uh, different uh, suppliers, your caterers from within Mamilodi. How important is it that we spend the time to educate this market? I, I can only imagine that when you approach the brands, they could see the value in actually educating the palate and, and making sure that people actually understand there's a lot more that's good, that goes into this bottle than just opening it and pouring it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the most amazing thing and what we've learned during this experience is that uh, the wineries came to us and told us, you know, the perception is with the market mm. in, in townships and all that is that the only wine that is people are more receptive to is your sweet wine. Mm. And there's more to wine than sweet wine that mm. you can get off the shelf. There's just uh, maybe 
no transference of information and education. Mm. So that's why we're bringing it closer to sort of address that so that people know exactly what they are choosing. And Musa, to... very quickly, why Mamelodi first? Mamelodi. And where does it go next? Next, uh, in fact, we don't want to be around, we don't, we're not going to be in Gauteng, we're taking it to Mpumalanga okay. in Whitbank, Laneville. Uh, Mamelodi is, um, we, we, we got quite a good response from them, I must admit. Good partnership, uh, Mom's FM and all that. So I think that's why we, we thought, let's just take it there. Okay, well, we wish you loads of success with the Isitwane wine tasting experience. That's uh, Musa Siani talking to us. Uh, she's from the organizing team and sharing with us a very unique uh, experience that's uh, about to hit uh, townships in South Africa, a rotational wine festival. It will be on the 31st of October at the village in uh, Mamelodi Township. The event is set to move Anri from township to township. So Google, find out more. Uh, go and check out where you can get involved as well. Okay, let's go to our performance area, Mas. 